one of the things that I've always found quite lovable about you was that your sense of work-life balance is impeccable. Michael's the father to eight children, by the way. Uh, Don't clap for me, clap for my clap wife. For his I think wonderful she's wife, right? Yaffa. <laughs> and, but is really a committed family guy, and he manages in the meantime to write books, and you've got now four books out there, mostly about really interesting combinations of history, religion, economics. How do you manage, you know, being a venture capitalist at your pace, you know, Midas list worldwide? I mean, come on, how do you do this? Eight kids and writing books, and, and, I, and I, you know, I know you don't sleep that much, but you still get some sleep. What do you do? Not, not enough, but no television. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> no one's here from NBC or CBS, or they know. Uh, the, uh, I don't know. The, uh, I, I guess I don't believe in balance terribly much. Um, it's all out of balance <laughs> uh, on some level. And, um, you know, the, the most important investment decision we all make in life is, is who we choose to share our life with. And so the most important decision I made 26 or 27 years ago was to get married to Yaffa. Yep. And everything's a... And, and then the second best decision we made together was to move to Israel. And I think... Here, here. This is a... This is, this is a, a remarkable uh, moment in time that we're all so fortunate to live through with the evolution of technology. I was taking every, over every part of life and fortunate to be with so many smart people in this industry who are so impactful and to have our families, your, you know, your father and grandfather, you know what it's like. It's, it's the most important thing in the world and, and that's what I can do. But John, before I let you get off the stage, Matthew, I, I brought something for you. I, <laughs> I, I didn't know that he was going to put up that embarrassing picture, but it's, it was a perfect segue. So, first of all, since people don't know this, but when I was looking for a job early on in my career, the guy I sought out was John Medved, who told me to go get a real job. One of the best pieces of <laughs> advice uh, I ever got. And we were all younger back then, but like a good bottle of wine. This is from a winery that I started together with Ellie Wortman that he now runs. And it says, uh, to John with admiration and appreciation from Michael. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. And John has aged better than a good bottle of wine. Thank you very much. But wait, but wait. You all know since you all came from all over the world to, for John and our crowd, that he's a leader in our industry. Um, and uh, not just a leader in our industry, he's a leader for our people and brought so many people uh, to Israel. Yehuda Glick was saying earlier that it's almost prophetic with a PH, hopefully with an FIT as well. Um, <laughs> so. This is my most recent book called, in English, Everyone Can't Be Moses, um, Kol Echad Moshe Rabbeinu. I just want to read out the dedication to John. With much appreciation and admiration for all you have done for Israel, the Jewish people, the global venture community, and for giving young people like me a shot. Keep being a leader like Moses, Moshe Rabbeinu, fondly your partner, Michael. So thank you, John. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Eisenberg.